ridges on the top and bottom, you need to cut the roller so it fits between the two ridges. Otherwise the label won't be applied to the surface. This is quite easy. Okay, so simply cut the roller to fit in the groove. Or another way is to uh, cut it to the width of the, la of the labels. Okay, next thing is to remove this roller. The axle is accessible here. There are two clips, one here and one on the other side. The gap sensor back here, remove the, the knob, screw it into the shaft or just spin the roller and pull the shaft out of the machine. Remove the, the roller. Now you can cut this as many times. So what we're going to do is we're going to put on the one we cut plus its brother. This is not able to be done on any other labeling machine. To my knowledge. So this roller here needs to be cut and the o-rings need to be removed. So move this away, position the roller so that the, the, the blue roller fits in the group in the between the ridge here and the ridge here. But also remove the o-rings that are touching the bigger diameters simply by rolling the, the offending o-ring away. And now this sits down. These are now touching the labeling panel and these ones need to be rolled this one and this one need to be rolled away as well. So we can see the blue roller behind is not touching the bigger diameters and we've rolled the o-rings away from the higher points. Uh, this is adjusted down to be the correct distance and then you have perfect labeling. So to change over to a bigger bottle simply run your o-rings Choose two labels. And we're done.